Okay, so my speedometer is not working, so I'm uh, checking the views. And the first view panel is uh, underneath this. Uh, underneath the driver's side. Um, steering panel or uh, something like a panel. So transfer shift. Well, starting from here, blower, motor, air conditioning, electric ignition, no injection, injector, no blower, ABS, turn, fuel, air, engine, con heater, C, transfer shift, meter, CIG, at CONT, not sure what that is, starter, uh, rear wiper audio M Miro stop lamp FR wiper front wiper I guess back window audio room lamp hazard okay so it's not here because what we're looking for is the uh, windshield uh, panel um, so this is not it yeah, put it back Here is the second uh, fuse locations of my pathfinder. The first one is underneath the steering column <coughs> on the driver's side. The second <coughs> is um, right inside this uh, engine hood. So you have to lift the engine hood. And you can see starting from here, it's the fuel pump, alternator, power socket, ECCS2, ECCS1, tail, lamp, battery, heater, mirror, ignition, defrost, ABS, NT lock brake, I think, ABS, power socket, NT horn, front uh, fog, horn, ETS, MTR, I'm not sure what that is. Um, so those are the fuse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this guy here, ECCS 1 and 2. Um, see if they are the one that's causing my fail, the speedometer. And this 20 amps ETS meter. So that one first. And then this one, 10 amps and 7.5 amps. See if they break. And here is the accessory ignition. I don't think it's that because it's not ignition. I was able to turn on my uh, turn on my pathfinder, so I can still drive the pathfinder. Just I don't have the speedometer. Anyway, so I'm gonna take a picture of this and I'm gonna open this cover. I unclick, unclip this one over here and also this one over here and then this cover will be open. So that's uh, what I'm going to be doing now. Okay, I noticed my pathfinder got a lot of gunk on the battery terminal so I'm cleaning this. Pushing this clip open. Here you go. Here's the clips. And uh,
ETS meters, which is one, two, three, four, five, number five from the top. So one, two, three, four, five. That actually says 10 inch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I am not sure why this is not a 20 amps because according to this there should be three 20 amps and one 10 amps. So this one should be a 20 amps but it's not. stop working because this is supposed to be a 20 amps but it's a 10 amps nope this fuse is perfect even though it's 10 amps but it's perfect so it's not here too bad put it back in See the 7.5 amps and the 10 amps it's coming down from the top. So 7.5 amp is this guy here. Let's see if this this is the one. Nope, this fuse is perfect. Next one is this one, 10 amps. Nope, this 10 amps is perfect as well. So, nope, okay, so it's not the fuse because I have checked all this. ESS, ECCS2, ECCS1, tail lamp, half lamp. Nope. ABS meter. No nope. ABS SOL. Nope. Power socket. Anti horn. No. Nope, no. Nope, no. Nope, no. Nope. ETS meter. Try that. It's not. It's okay. And uh, power window. Battery ignition. No. 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 That's it. This is HID. Right hand HID. Left hand maybe the headlight. So. Not the fuse. So, okay, so it's not the fuse. So, gotta follow the co-reader um, and see what's going on.